What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Calvin the New Trader back again with another video. Listen, on today's video, I want to share with you what you're looking at when you look at a Forex chart, right? If you're new to Forex, you open up a chart and you see this is the US dollar and the Japanese yen, right? You see USD JPY. What is that? What does that mean, right? What are you looking at? You see these candlesticks, you see these bars moving up and down. What does that represent? On today's video, I'm going to give you the why behind it so that you'll have a better explanation and so that you can get one step closer to making a consistent stream of income trading in the foreign exchange market. Let's get into it. Now, as always, I got to have my whiteboard. So let's get into it. What are you looking at when you look at a Forex chart? So let's just say, for instance, like I said in my first example, you're looking at a chart that says USD and you see right next to it JPY. OK, now this will be a pair that we like to call UJ. OK, in parentheses UJ. OK, now what what does this stand for first? Before we even get into what we're looking at in the chart, what does that stand for? Well, basically what this stands for is USD stands for US dollar. JPY stands for Japanese yen. OK, so this is the US dollar compared to the Japanese yen. That is what this currency pair represents. And that's what this stands for. Now, when we look at currency pairs and when we're looking at a chart, you got to understand that we have two things. We have what's called a base, okay? And then we have what's called a quote, okay? We have a base and you have a quote. The base is always the first currency in a currency pair, okay? So when you look at a currency pair, you're going to have two currencies that are compared side by side. The first currency in that currency pair is going to always be your base. The second currency in that currency pair is going to be your quote. Now, why does this make sense when we're looking at a chart, a Forex chart? Simple. I'm going to tell you right now. When the base is stronger than the quote, typically the chart you're looking at is going to be trending in a upward direction. OK, so again, when and we'll just put this right here. OK, we'll put base. Stronger than quote, you're going to see price trending up. Okay. So you're going to be looking at an uptrend. All right. Now, when the quote When the quote is stronger, then, then the base, you should be seeing a downtrend on your chart. Okay? And this is how you understand what you're looking at when you're looking at a 4x chart, okay? By simply understanding the currency pairs and understanding the base and the quote of that currency pair, this can give you a better understanding of what you're looking at when you're looking at a actual 4x chart, okay? Now, the next thing is when you're looking at a chart and you see those candlesticks or you see those bars, okay? So when you see candlesticks, all right? candles on your chart or bars moving up and down okay this represents price okay this represents price so when you open up your chart and you're looking and you see these bars or candles whatever you call it right now right and you see it moving up and down that's representing price price is moving price is fluctuating and if you look on the far right side of your chart if you're looking on tradingview.com which is the site that i recommend that you can use for your charting that's where you can actually look at charts and that's where you can actually view your different currency pairs if you look on the far right of your trading view chart you'll see numbers all right you'll see numbers from the top to the bottom on the far right of your chart and that is going to represent the actual price numbers and you're going to see those candlesticks moving in between those prices showing you the fluctuations in price as business is taking place all right so now 
Once you understand the base, you understand the quote, you understand the candlesticks, you understand the bars on the chart, they represent price moving, all right, business being taken place, then now you need to sum all of that up with this, okay? What's making the bars or the candlesticks move? What's making price move back and forth? Well, let me tell you, it's business transactions that are happening. Business transactions that are taking place between um, government banks, big banks, and of course, huge companies that do business between these two currencies, all right? To sum everything up, when the base is stronger than the quote, you should see your overall chart moving in an upward direction, all right? It's telling you that in this example, the US dollar is stronger than the Japanese yen. But then when you see the quote, which is the Japanese yen, stronger than the base, which is the US dollar, that is an indication that price should be trending down and that the yen is stronger than the US dollar, all right? And then the fluctuations you see when you see the candlesticks and the bars moving up and down, that's fluctuations in price and that's the business transactions that are taking place, all right? And we take trades based on where we think price is gonna go next, and we do that by studying the markets, creating a strategy, creating a trading plan, creating a trading system that aligns with the currency pair that we are focused on, all right? And so this has been a simple breakdown of what you're looking at when you see a Forex chart and how you can understand what you're looking at by simply following the base in the quote, all right? It's your boy Calvin, the new trader. God bless you. If this video was informative and helpful, definitely give us a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you never miss another upload. Till next time, God bless you. Don't meet me at the bank. I need you to beat me there. Peace.